And we're back for the winner's match here for Group B in the FX Open Invitational. Number six, I am unstable, joined here by Real Kuhn. Up now, we have Marine King Prime up against FXO's Gumio. Game one is going to be on Ohana. This is the winner's match, of course. So the winner of this set will move on into the round of 32. Down here at the bottom right-hand corner, we have uh, FXO's Gumio as our red Terran. And of course, up here in the top left-hand corner is our blue Terran, what goes by the name of Marine King Prime. Marine King caught second in our last event, uh, losing to Dongrengu in the finals. However, uh, DRG was not able to attend this one, so Marine King is now set to win his title back, pretty much. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. Uh, we did see Gumio coming up through Inori to play in this match. Marine King took out uh, Huey as well. So those other two players will play each other after this set. But let's see who can clinch through and come to out first in their group. Because remember, being seeded into the round of 32 uh, for the single elimination, it does matter if you come first or second in your group because it determines who you play from other groups. First plays second, second plays first, etc. as you see. Which is pretty standard yep. for, for group play to have happen like that. So We've got another Terran vs. Terran opening up with uh, Refinery first. It's a really strong opening in Terran vs. Terran because it allows you all the different uh, gas options really early. Yeah. Uh, it can have some really quick Hellions to apply some pressure. You can move into the you know, tanks really quickly. You can do like a one Rex expand with an add-on. Or you can There's do a so proxy different barracks. Things you can do. <laughs> yeah. Or you can do a proxy barracks like Gumio right, right now. He's like, you know what? You're Marine King. I heard you like to hide buildings. I'm going to hide buildings too. Yeah, he's got gas first though, so... It's Mike's most likely going to be one Marauders. of those Marauder builds, yeah. Uh, and Marine King also got gas before his barracks as well, though, remember. But Marine King's barracks mm -hmm. is a good 15 seconds ahead of Gumio's regardless, so we will have that extra advantage uh, of those extra reinforcements just slightly quicker. But it's going to come down to the control, and the, the, the difficulty is both these players have incredible control, so it's really impossible to figure out what's actually going to happen in any given fight. And, oh, we actually see a factory go down by Marine King, and this could actually hey. end up hurting him. Yeah, it's going to depend on how many Marines Marine King can get out here. Um, there's a what? proxy factory. So we're going to see this crazy um, barracks factory starport thing, possibly. Uh, we saw this a few times in the previous FIS. Yeah. But they were, it's usually happening on Daybreak. It seems like they have decided Ohana is a good map for this. We're going to see the barracks with the reactor tech lab onto the factory pumping out a few uh, tanks. And then you get, like maybe one or two medevacs yeah and you, you usually get the second barracks at home too just so you have some units and they're like oh you're just one barracks expanding or something like that because players do tend to scout really late in terran versus terran yeah. so you can do this kind of a build and make it kind of look normal yeah that's very true we do see of course the reactor go down on that barracks for marine king Ooh. is he's, he's gonna switch him instead of uh going for those quick tanks so I don't know what he's doing now. Uh, there is the starport up here, and now Marine King's going to leave the base. There is no extra barracks at home, so he's going to be tipped off that something's going on. I absolutely do not know what Gumiho's plan is right now. So, do you have any ideas, Unstable? <laughs> well, he's going to come up with these two Hellions at a perfect time, because there's no Marines here. There's only one Hellion, and he's actually going to oh, run straight well. past. It's going to be two versus one, and oh, the two extra Marines pop out just in the nick of time. We also have the reinforcements oh, no. coming back for Marine King. Not only was his production facilities up ahead, oh, almost gets him away. Oh, 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 that one's trying to sneak around the side, faking out Marine King, but he's pretty trapped right now. Oh, oh. but the two more Hellions popping out, getting the low health Hellions of Marine King. That might be enough for that Hellion to sneak out. Gumiho, the Hellion can get away now. I think he's completely given up on it, though. Yeah. It's still trapped up in there in the corner. Well, Marine King has gotten gone for a medivac first, whereas uh, Gumio's gone for a Viking, so that's going to work out well for Gumio. He's also going to get that vision. But there's enough Marines at the top of the ramp now that it could be very frustrating uh, for him to deal with. And Marine King was ahead with his production room. Oh, Gumio's and... supply blocks. Oh, he is? Ah, oh, that's pretty much game over then. <laughs> the... You do not want to supply block yourself at this point in time, especially when you got someone like Marine King who does not miss a beat in that regard. The Hellions yeah. are now trapped uh, behind here, and that's pretty much it. Like, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting start, and I thought it was going to get really, you know, exciting, but that supply block is, like, at the worst possible time out of all of the, the bad times to get supply blocked. Yeah. 
That's pretty much the worst one. He's gonna try and fight this out, but there's no real way he's gonna be able to recover from that. He lost way too many units at the exact wrong moment. All of his buildings are halfway across the map, and they're gonna get taken out. So you should see a GG here any second. It's a very exciting opening, and uh, I just... No matter who it is, you hate to see him lose to something like that, so... Yeah. We'll see what happens in game number two. Ooh, supply drop for Marine King. So he was getting a little bit behind himself, too. Mm. Just calling down the hat. But he's gonna start picking away at these buildings now, and there's not really anything Gumiho can do about it. No, it's gonna be interesting to see how game two plays out there, considering that happened. Oh, even units rallied out here from Gumiho getting picked off instantly. There's the GG, and Marine King will take down game number one. And that was shaping up to be really interesting, and then Gumiho went and supply blocked himself, and pretty much that was game <laughs> over. So, <laughs> let's jump into game number two and see how this series finishes out.